Greetings, everyone. Yes, it's DVD collection update time again. This time around, we've got the biggest update that I've had for a long time. Annette just got her first full paycheck, so we set aside some money for food, for rent, paid some bills, set aside some money for Christmas, and for ourselves. It's been a long time since we've been able to treat ourselves, so we really wanted to uh, make the most of it. So we went out and had a nice dinner yesterday, and both bought a buttload of new DVDs. And we're going to take a look at them today on the Multimedia Chronicles. Now, I'd like to do a little shout out to Bookhouse Boy 77 because um Part of how I decided to do this video was actually inspired by uh, by one of his latest DVD update videos. He's a fellow DVD enthusiast and uh, and one of my regular viewers, and we chat a fair amount. Uh, and he stopped by the Stickam chat room a few times. And uh, in his latest video, he did something that I thought was kind of interesting. Um, he was talking about how a lot of people who do these types of DVD uh, review videos and collection videos and whatnot. Rather than you know holding it up to the to the screen like this, they'll actually do a a top down view where you just see their hands and you see it's sort of a bird's eye view and then you can you know they lay it on a table or whatever and then you can actually look at the contents a little more easily than sort of trying to fumble with them in your hands and stuff. So I thought that's a really good idea. So I'm going to actually do that uh, for this DVD update segment. Uh, but I'm going to mix it up a little bit. I'm going to do both. I'm going to do this style, just talking to you, and do a top-down to actually show you the uh, uh, contents and whatnot. Here's some people outside. All right, so let's begin, shall we? First off, we'll take a look at, uh, at the latest additions that I got, which I'm quite happy about. First off, I'm really happy to report that I finally got the collector's edition of Predator back in my collection. You may recall a few updates ago I was talking about how the Blu-ray edition contains er, has the exact same cover as this particular DVD edition yet it has none of the extras. So let's take a little bit of a closer look at just what is in this particular collection. Okay, so this of course is an edition that I used to have and sold because I heard it was coming out on Blu-ray and then found out the Blu-ray doesn't have all the extras, but you know that whole story. So this is part of Fox's Collector's Edition series, uh, Collector's Edition number 15. I don't actually know what all of them were. I have a few Collector's Editions that um, have that numbering on them, but I don't actually know what they all are. So we got this nice, nice matte finish, which I really like. So we got that and then that. So you got the Predator there and then some of the characters. And it's just a gatefold uh, digipack, basically. It folds out like that. And you got your two discs. So you got, uh, you know, disc one is the feature, and then disc two is the bonus material. So quite nice. Like, I mean, as far as DVD goes, it's actually really nice quality. And you got your, your track listing on the back, your chapter listing on the back, and a breakdown of the contents of the discs. So as you can see, there's quite a lot of extras on there. Um, just tons and tons of stuff. In particular, I was interested to know about how they did some of the Predator effects, because this, of course, was before the days of CG. I mean, this movie originally came out in, uh, what, 1987. So it was uh, pretty cool when it came out. It was kind of like the Matrix of... Schwarzenegger films. I mean, you know how The Matrix introduced bullet time and all these cool effects? Well, Predator introduced the whole camouflage thing and some pretty cool effects there. So, Predator, special edition, big thumbs up. Check it out. So, yeah, so needless to say, if you're a fan of the original Predator, this is the only edition worth getting. Uh, by all means, pick up the Blu ray if you just want to have the movie in the best possible quality, but if you want not just the movie but all the extras and there's really worthwhile extras here uh, get this edition because it's it's really uh, really worth checking out then I picked up uh, been wanting to get this one for a while because Annette and I are both big fans of Futurama 
This, of course, is the second of the uh, the four direct-to-DVD movies. Uh, these are also being shown on television, sometimes in movie format, but also uh, they'll be chopping them up into four episodes per movie to make sort of a virtual uh, new season. But really, it's just the movies chopped up into episodes. So anyway, this was the second one. It was on sale for like twelve ninety nine. So I thought, hey, perfect, I'm going to grab it. I still have to get the third one, which is uh, Bender's Game, which is basically their big uh, parody of Dungeons & Dragons. So let's take a quick look at, uh, at what is inside Futurama, Beast with a Billion Backs. Now, those of you in the know will, of course, know that the producers of Futurama are often associated with Al Gore. Al Gore has actually appeared on Futurama a number of times, and when he was doing his uh, Inconvenient Truth movie, he did a promo featuring none other than Bender himself, basically razzing him and giving him a hard time. So, being associated with Al Gore and his environmental crusade, uh, the producers of Futurama have sort of chosen to do their part by making it as carbon neutral as possible. They have this little symbol there with Bender to indicate it. So, the result of that is we have what at first appears to be just a standard digi digipack, but it actually isn't. And this cool artwork on it. If you open it up, you'll notice there's actually no plastic anywhere in this entire packaging. It's all cardboard. And the thing that's kind of annoying is that means the disc is in a sleeve. And it's okay. It doesn't seem to be scratched. But, I mean... With these kinds of sleeves, you got to make sure that there is zero dust. Because one little speck of dust can scratch the hell out of your disc and render it unplayable. So, yeah, good good guys for helping to save the environment, but not so good for, uh, you know, protecting the frickin' discs. Anyway, so you got this uh, cool movie poster here. I like this one, actually, which is a take on the old uh, Metropolis poster, which is quite cool. And then a little blurb about uh, Futurama Comics, which you can get. So, it's okay. They did, uh, they've been doing this kind of packaging for all of the, uh, uh, the direct-to-DVD movies. The only exception being, of course, the Blu-ray edition of Bender's Game, which is in a standard Blu-ray case, which, you know, kind of defeats the purpose. But uh, that's okay. As far as I know, the, the, this is the second of the, well, this is the second of the uh, Futurama movies. The first one was uh, Bender's Big Score. Um, as far as I know, these will be coming out on Blu-ray eventually. There, it hasn't been announced yet, but uh, from Bender's Big Score all the way up to Bender's Game, uh, well, and uh, well, all four of the movies, basically, they've been doing them in high definition for the first time. So if you want to get them in high def, you can. And uh, there you go. So Futurama, Beast with a Billion Backs, awesome stuff. Anything Futurama is pretty much a guaranteed good time, especially if you're a sci-fi fan and uh, just like that style of humor which uh, we do. Well, folks, it looks like the DVD uh, update and mini reviews are running a little bit longer than I anticipated, basically because I'm not just holding them up and showing them. I'm actually doing proper in-depth reviews of each one for you and uh, showing you what's in them. So, you know, necessarily the running time's a little bit longer. So I'm actually going to chop this up into three parts. Yes, we got that many DVDs, and yes, I talk about them that much, that I need to split it up into three parts. <laughs> so this is the end of part one. So part two will be posted eh, probably tomorrow. I'm probably going to split them up over the next three days. So see you in part two. Until then, thanks for watching, and sayonara.